Welcome back. Well, if you can guess who that is, that's Ani Yeroth. He came down to Port Orange, and Port Orange has an ordinance against panhandling. So he decides to panhandle. Let's take a look. Are the guests are not liking it very well when they walk in the door. Can I, can I possibly... I want to thank you. Come, I'm uh, Dr. Mancuso. I want to oh, okay. thank you for your message. Oh, thank you. God yeah. bless you. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. God bless you. Are you from here? Uh, I am from uh, the 70s, actually. From where? The 70s. The 70s? Yeah, how about you? <laughs> I'm from the era of the 70s. What was the church doing that chased you out? So, anyway. <laughs> You're going to have to go farther down that way or across the street. You can't be directly in front uh, of the I'm not politely disagree with you. I'm going to stay right here. I know, but when you're talking to the guests, man, I'm complaining about a guy talking to oh, Too bad. I, I can just call the cops. All right. Well, the manager threatened to call the cops, and that's what he did. Yeah, this is a new guy. He's relatively new. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Well, did they ask you to leave? Ah, uh, they did, yeah. yeah. You're no longer a pastor. Yeah. I don't know you. You're standing out here on the sidewalk, so. You're not asking for money? Uh, I'd rather not answer that, but I am soliciting, so. You can't. Here, in Port Orange, almost. You can't, you can't ask for money in Port Orange? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm soliciting, so I'll yeah. be honest with you about that. Yeah, yeah you can't in Port Orange. It's nothing like that. It's like they have, I don't remember the exact thing. It's within certain meters of an intersection. Uh huh. And it's set up so it covers the entirety of Fort Orange. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but uh, I, do, you re do you recognize me? Do you know who I am or anything? No. Okay. Uh, soliciting is, is it's free speech. It's yeah. Pro it's protected free speech. Yeah, that's why so, I asked. If you're asking for something. Yeah. One thing, if you're just talking to people. Yeah. So totally there. All right. Yeah, if you're just talking, just talk. Right. Um, so yeah, you're right inside there. As long as you stay yeah, I'm not under property. As long as you stay off their property, that that's it, really. Okay. Um, yeah, my name is Jeff, by the way. Uh, Officer Langer. Langer, uh, L-A-N-G-E-R. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they do want you trespass. Why? I mean, I know, I know, but why it's, do they want me trespass? <laughs> it's a business; they have the right to do that. Yeah. So even if you're not on their property, they still just—I guess they just don't want you to come on their property. Oh, all right. All right. Well, that's um, a do shame. You, do you have a driver's license on you, by chance? I do, but I'd rather not get my ID that's or anything fine. like that. Um, all right. So I'm just letting you know. If they call back, say you're on the property. All right. It's something else. You're on the sidewalk. You're on the sidewalk. Okay. If, yeah, I have no intention to go on their property if they're going to trespass me. That's for sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and that's why when I pulled up and I saw you over here, I'm like, he's not trespassing. Yeah. I will go in and make sure that it is clear to them as well. All right. You have a good day. All right, you too. God bless you. Stay safe. Huh? Trespass. Really? That's why I asked me. I didn't... What, they said they're going to trespass? Yeah, they're going to trespass me. I said, why, why are they going to trespass? He said, I don't know. I said, yeah, you don't know. I said, look, Dan, that's a shame, man. Was... No reason to trespass me. Yeah. So, so he's actually enforcing, so you can't come here and eat if you, don't, if you want to now. Right. That's not going to look good on him, man. It's not going to look good on him at all. Uh, yeah, I talked to him. They said you're asking for money. I said, do you have any proof of that? They said yes, and they showed me a picture of their thumb. So they have um, uh, yeah, As long as you're not bothering your business, it's really it for us. Right. I told them, as long as I you're stand on the sidewalk. Out here, say God bless some veterans and please, please pray for these veterans. That's, yeah. that's what I'm doing. No, that's so. fine. Yeah, as long as you're so. not asking for money and you're not trespassing, then have a good day. They, say they, they requested you stand on the other side of the sign. Yeah. I told them you're on the sidewalk. That's your right. All right. I'm not going to challenge you on the money part of it because yeah. it, it is a civil right to be able to ask for money. It's, it's a, as, as I already told you, we have the uh, the guidelines of Port Orange for yeah. the begging. It's or for yeah. hat, hand handling. I understand Port Orange has a, an ordinance product that outlaws that or whatever. But this, uh, the courts have ruled that hand handling is a charitable appeal for alms or for funds, and that is protected speech. So any kind of ordinance would be un unconstitutional. And I'll probably have to challenge that. I'm not going to do that here today. Yeah, I'm not. You. I'm not going to bother you about it. You're being either. so nice, so. Uh, but uh, that that is you know, would be an unconstitutional ordinance. Uh, I mean, yeah. isn't I'm it Southern Legal that. Council that sued Daytona and they put a order out in the courts saying you can't enforce this anymore? Yeah, they put a uh, yeah. So, I personally never enforced it. I just know it's in our guidelines. But just saw I saw Velez the other day doing the same thing, and he wrote a woman a ticket for standing there and gave him money. Uh, can I have ten bucks? Why not? <laughs> I'm not getting any time bucks. Well, 20? I actually don't have any money on me to give you. You got Apple I... Pay? Nope. Why not? Why would I? Are you going to write me a ticket for soliciting money from you? No, I told you I'm not going to. 
So that's the problem. Like Velez did that the other day. He wrote a woman a hundred and fifty dollar ticket or something like that. I walked up and gave her money. Uh, I'm going to find out what it is. I'm going to refer her to Southern Legal Counsel and hopefully. Yeah, it's, 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 also, it's a discretion thing more than anything. Yeah, it's not something I follow through. It's if somebody's asking for money and they're not being obnoxious or at least like, then you're asking for money. I understand. But uh, does but, the ordinance also prohibit giving money as well? Honestly, I don't know the clarity of it. I don't see. I don't know. Yeah, I would read it if you want. I can get a magic for you if you're going to be here. I'll look into it. That's okay. It. I'll look. Like, I'll look at that. Where what are you recording? Your podcast? Yeah, yeah, I'll ask yeah. I was going to. Yeah, I was going to ask that. Like when you say that um, you don't enforce it, some other people do. But yeah, when, it's discretion. I had that option to enforce things my wish. I don't want to. So I don't. If it was something more serious. It all comes down to my choice as a police officer, as I'm sure you're aware of your time as a police officer. You know what you can and cannot enforce, and you have their choice. When uh, when people make a false report to you to to affect laws or affect something on someone else, like lying and saying that he's asking for money, do you ever charge them with anything? No. Why not? No, I ask, because I'm not going to charge him. I'm not going to bother them about it either. But I do have stuff <laughs> pending. I do have to go. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'd love to talk to you guys all day. I don't have that time right now. But uh, yeah, as long as you're not bothering them, have a good day. If you know that they're doing something that's, yeah, they can they can refuse someone treatment or refuse, refuse service. Yeah. But how do you come in and affect it? I'm going to walk over here through a crosswalk. Yeah, yeah, like, how do we, how do you come in and affect it knowing that something may be unconstitutional about that? Like, you know, if, uh, like this right here, he didn't ask for money and they're lying about it. Well, if I could prove that he hadn't or I could prove that he had, that'd be something else. But well, one, one, is a, one is a crime uh, when someone makes a false report to law enforcement. It's a crime. The other one's not. They didn't trespass him. They didn't say. So he refused to identify himself. I, and since he was no longer committing it, if he ever did, yeah. I was going to press him on anything yeah. because it's not. He didn't have to identify himself. Yeah, for trespass, do you know you don't have to identify yourself? Uh, I generally try to because it's. You know, like like for me here, if the owner comes out of this business, I was just going to do it. If the owner comes out of this place here and says, hey, I don't want this guy here. And I'm like, OK, I'll leave. And he's like, no, I want him trespassed. I want him fully trespassed. I want a written trespass on him. And I walk off there and go down the sidewalk. Uh, can you stop me? I've been told no. Yeah, it's a civil issue because trespass. Uh, the warning is a civil issue. Trespass after warning is then the okay. crime. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, that's, and that's why, like I told him, they don't want you there. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, we were planning on going to eat there. Yeah. That's sad. I know. Um, that's all right. It's their business. I mean, they got Yeah, and that's why and that's why I explained. It's if it's up to them. If they don't want him there, that's their option as a, and I've explained it to more people than I can count of the one Betty trespass. Yeah. It's a private building. If they don't want you there, there's not much more I can do except follow what they're requesting. That makes sense. Well, like I said, research some of that stuff for you because Yeah, I'll definitely look into it. Unless they, like when they start telling you that yeah, you need to go out there and enforce these ordinances and and trespass, their officers are getting sued. The naked cowboy costs ninety thousand oh, yeah. uh, dollars, and if, if an officer here caused ninety thousand dollars of damages, I'm going to try to find everything I can to get that officer fired because if we're we're telling everybody a warning. If even if you ask for money, the firefighters go out on the intersection and stand in the medians yeah, and ask a, for yeah. money. I know a lot of them get permits. They don't need I a permit. I was going to say I can't guarantee you that they do. Permit. They don't need a permit. No one needs a permit to ask for money. I don't like it. Like like Blaz is saying, you want a bunch of homeless people in our in our city here. No, I don't want dirty cops. I don't want bad cops that work here. Not that you are. You've always been cool with me. But I don't want those kind of cops here. And that's what it seems like it turns into is these people that are violating rights. And like when I said to Blaise, didn't you arrest someone to make an unlawful arrest? He goes, well, it happens. But the unfortunate thing, that guy died when we picked up an attorney for him. Brian Smith died. I wish he would have sued the piss out of the department. Because when, when Blaise did his thing, the guy got up and he put his foot on the grass. Ah, oh, Brian Smith, I got you now. A toe on the grass. And that's what he arrested him for, for trespass. Yeah. And those are the bastards of this department you know, that do stuff like that. So. Uh, anyway, I appreciate it. Nice yeah. chat with you. you Lang too. Langer or Langer? Langer. Langer. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. I got to get out of this one. Go home. See ya. Well, he did a little bit of good stuff there. He didn't really screw with Jeff too much. But he did. He asked for ID. And at least he knows that he can't get trespass. Uh, he can't get ID for trespass. That's on your oath. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.